Hello everybody and welcome to Hopping to Hope, the channel dedicated to education and advocacy for bunnies. We are so excited to launch this YouTube channel and help you with your bunnies as well as sharing our own. In today's video, I want to introduce you to the Hopping to Hope mascots, Huxley, Daisy, Artie and Sassy. Huxley was my first bunny. I rescued him from a family friend who couldn't care for him anymore. In the first few months of caring for Huxley, I learnt quite a lot about rabbits. I had him vaccinated and desexed, and I moved him from a tub cage to a pen and then eventually to him having an entire room to himself. In the beginning of my bunny parent life, I did a few things I know now aren't recommended. It was through research and becoming involved in the bunny community that I learned about what was best for my bunny. I want to give new bunny owners a place to come to find the information they are looking for without judgment. And that's why I created Hopping to Hope. Huxley is a more reserved bunny, but once he gets to know you, he will do anything for head pats. He loves affection just as much as he loves sultanas, which is his favorite treat. Huxley has recently become a dental bunny. He has dental disease and late last year had a fractured incisor and some other teeth removed. We will be doing a video on bunny teeth soon, so stay tuned for those. Huxley currently needs lifelong antibiotics and I give him injections every other day. We are constantly monitoring him and making sure we're on top of his teeth and they are being filed down properly. Huxley was about 10 months old when I rescued him. I would sit in the room with him on my lap and he'd groom the pillow. I'd feel so guilty when I left the room and he was all alone. I realized that Huxley needed a friend and that's where Daisy entered the picture. Daisy was eight weeks of age when she came to me. I wanted an outgoing female friend for Huxley because he's a more shy kind of bunny. Well, <laughs> Daisy is a firecracker. From day one, she was her own feisty little girl who wasn't going to be bossed around by anyone. Daisy is an active girl who loves to zoom around the room and get into things she's not supposed to. She doesn't like sweet treats as much as Huxley and prefers savoury tasting food. I bonded Huxley and Daisy myself. Bonding a baby bunny and a desexed, that's spayed or neutered, bunny was fairly easy and within two to three weeks they were fully bonded. They have more of a brother-sister relationship than husband and bun wife. Daisy does seem to annoy Huxley sometimes and will steal his treats. It's so lovely to see them snuggle together. Adi, short for Ardern, was a foster bunny that I decided to adopt. I wasn't planning on adopting him, but he is an older boy, about 10 or 11. He doesn't seem to like other bunnies and he has severe dental disease. He wasn't really an adoptable bunny and would always get passed up. Adi spent the first eight years of his life in a tub cage. At my home, he had a lovely big pen and time to free roam. Within a few months of being with me, he learnt his name and really came out of his shell. The moment he came hopping to me when I called his name, I knew he had found his forever home with me. When Artie first arrived, he had been showing some aggressive behaviours, but with time he became a happy boy who loves to binky. Artie also loves to eat. He gets very excited when he knows it's time for pellets or his daily greens. As I've said, Artie has severe dental disease. He's had several teeth removed and many of his teeth have died and fused to the jaw. He has daily oral antibiotics as well as injectable antibiotics every other day to keep his dental disease at bay. He also gets regular checkups at the vets to make sure his teeth are filing down properly. Adi will live out his days with me, free from a small tub cage life. Sassy is another bunny I was fostering that I decided to adopt. Sassy came to me as Miss Sassy Pants, a female bunny who got her name after attacking her rescuer. I had to rehabilitate Sassy's behavior and to this day it still needs to be worked on because Sassy is a biter. Sassy came to me as female, but I discovered several months afterwards that she was a he. For this reason, you might hear me use both pronouns or just say Sassy. Sassy came to me very skinny with poor body condition, really bad poops and wanting to attack all the time. 
It took me several months to get him to stop latching onto me when he bit any time we interacted. It was incredibly painful, but I knew he was worth it. I plan to do a video on how I was able to overcome his aggression really soon. Bunnies showing aggression are communicating with you, and I just needed to work out what Sassy was saying. Sassy has a bit of a sensitive tummy. For this reason, he doesn't eat any pellets. His diet consists of several different types of hay, mint, and a few strands of grass per day. With this diet, his cecum has settled and he's managed to gain the weight he needed. His body is no longer in poor condition. He loves his food and will go nuts for hay cubes. He loves to have free roam time and poop up a storm for me to clean after he's done. When I adopted Sassy, I believed Sassy was a female, so the plan was for him and Artie to be bonded. Unfortunately, that hasn't worked out and both of them just live in the lounge room. They don't seem to mind cohabitating, but I'm always very careful and always double pen when the other is free roaming. I feel blessed to call Huxley, Daisy, Artie and Sassy my bunnies. I'm looking forward to sharing their lives with you here on this channel. I hope you'll subscribe and join the Hopping to Hope community. Until next time. Bye everybody.